Hello everyone and welcome to another FPL video on the channel. In this one we're going to be going through how we did in double game week 29 and then my team selection for game week 30. It is a quick turnaround. Uh, there's no game on the Friday but there is a early kickoff on the Saturday. So we're going to get the video out nice and early. This will be up on the Thursday probably. So yeah, let's get into my team, how we did. Let's go. So I'm sure for a lot of you it was a massive week and that is the same for me. So before we get into it, we did actually make a couple transfers. So we brought in Fernandez for Saka and then late game, I decided to take out Kane for Danny Ings. I'll discuss that in a second. So we did in fact bench boost and we got a total score of 138 points minus four. So an absolutely amazing week for me. I think we've gone from a rank of 103,000, you'll see it more clearly, uh, to a rank of 65,000. So a nice green arrow for me secured in that top 100k spot now hopefully we can kick on get top 50k next but the goalkeepers eight points both of them brilliant very very happy with that then the defenders all got a return apart from henry botman seven points chilwell nine points trippier 14 points henry with three points and estupinian with seven now, Ben Gilwell had a goal disallowed as well, so he could have potentially had more. Estupinian could have had an assist. You know, there was a lot of potential there for more points, but nonetheless, very happy with that return. Onto the midfield, a good few returns in there as well. We had Solly March, who got eight points. McAllister with nine points. Rash of my captain with 24 points. I got it wrong there, sorry, apologies. Not 20, got 24 in the end. That's minus bonus. Then we had, unfortunately, the two failures, which was, in fact, Fernandez who got four points, and Madison, who got four points as well. So now moving on to the attack, we have two amazing scores. One in Ollie Watkins. That man is on fire right now. 17 points for him. He's killing it. Aston Villa are doing very, very well as well. And then Ivan Tony with 11 points for him. And he didn't get a yellow card, so no suspension. Then the other player is Danny Ings. The transfer in, I took a hit for him. I like the fixture of Southampton at home. I thought West Ham would get a few goals in that. Wasn't to be, wasn't really involved. And then in the Newcastle game, he was rotated for Antonio. I mean, come on. Get Moyes out of West Ham. What is Antonio doing up front? But nonetheless, yeah. Uh, Ings, three points then. So awful in the end, an awful transfer. We probably lost out on about eight points. So it's not the end of the world, but you know it would have been nice to have on top of that. But nonetheless, an amazing week for me, 138 points. How do we line up for game week 30? So starting off in net, we've got David De Gea. Clean sheet against Brentford, looked pretty solid defensively United. They maybe had, what, one chance where David De Gea made a nice save in the end. Everton at home. Great fixture. United at home are very, very solid. And I think Everton, you know, they're not likely goal scorers in my opinion. They don't score too many goals, but it is the early kickoff. So a quick turnaround for Manchester United and the curse of the early kickoff could strike. Then in the defence, we've got the two Newcastle lads, Trippier and Botman against Brentford at away from home. It's going to be a tough fixture. Brentford at home, decent. They're a great side. You know, they, they got held out against Manchester United, but I do think they could get a goal against Newcastle here. Newcastle, you know, not keeping that many clean sheets. They did keep one out of two in the double game week, however. But against the Brentford side, who are good going forward, it's going to be tough. Then on to Ben Chilwell, Wolves away from home. They got a new manager now. Super Frank Lampard is back in. I mean, what, what are they thinking? I mean, in my opinion, that is awful, but... That doesn't matter. Ben Chilwell, if he plays the fullback, you know, he's a good attacking fullback. I mean, he could have scored a goal. He could have got a couple assists. You know, Havertz missed a chance where Chilwell put uh, put put it on a plate for him. So, yeah, I mean, but I think against Wolves, they probably will keep a clean sheet. Wolves not the best attacking side. Chelsea defensively are not bad at all. So, I like, I like the clean sheet odds there for Ben Chilwell. Moving on to the midfield, we've got Fernandez and Rashford both against Everton at home. Now, Fernandez has been playing a little bit deeper at the minute due to Casemiro not being in the side. However, he did still create a few chances. So for me, it's not that big of a deal. Of course, I'd like to see him more uh, further forward. But, you know, for now, it's OK. He will start to get more attacking when Casemiro comes back after the Everton match. He's also on penalties as well. So there's that. Then we have Marcus Rashford back to scoring ways against Brentford. You know, he's just... He just carried Manchester United in terms of goals at the moment. He really is. Without him and his goals, 
I don't know where we'd be. But against Everton at home, he is a prime candidate for captaincy. I am considering it a lot. You know, I do like to back Rashford. He usually does get the goals, but for now, he's currently not on it. Then Madison against Bournemouth at home. Great fixture. Leicester just sacked Brendan Rodgers. They need the points desperately. They are in the drop zone, I believe, at the moment. Madison, you know, he's a source of goals and assists. He, you know, he created a few chances again. I think he, he put one on a plate from a corner to Harry Suter, who somehow missed. I don't know. But yeah, that's the issue with uh, Leicester at the minute. They're not clinical enough, but he is creating chances. So maybe they can turn that into points. Then we have currently Solly March against Tottenham away from home. I am uncertain who to start here. Do I go with March or do I go with McAllister? Now, I don't actually mind playing them against Tottenham here. Tottenham, I don't think they're that good. And attacking wise, Brighton are very, very good. But I am unsure on who to start here. McAllister is on penalties. He does play in that 10 role. But March does get, you know, he does get involved in the attack a lot. Does create chances. Does get chances. He's just not the most clinical player. If he does keep getting into the positions, maybe he's going to turn that into points. Although I might go McAllister, I'm not set. Then on to the attack, we have Ivan Tony against Newcastle at home. It's not going to be an easy fixture at all. But, you know, Ivan Tony has been excellent in the season, as have Brentford. And, you know, if, if they're going to score Brentford, it's probably going to be through Ivan Tony, who is also on penalties as well. Then we have Ollie Watkins, the prime candidate for me for captaincy against Nottingham Forest. It's a great fixture. You know, Aston Villa, they want to keep their hopes up for Europe. And, you know, Ollie Watkins is the man leading the charge. He scored in six away games now in a row, which is absolutely amazing. He's also scoring at home as well. That's not an issue. The man is banging goals. He's also on penalties as well. So yeah, really, really like Ollie Watkins for this fixture. And that is why he's going to be probably my captain or vice captain at least. Then the final one is going to be Erling Haaland. I will be bringing him back in this game week for sure. Southampton away from home. I believe he's back in training now. There were pictures of him in training. So that should hopefully see him start in the game. I will wait to make the transfer just in case. You know, I'll leave it to the last minute. I do think he's going to start. He might not play the full 90 minutes, but I do think he'll play. So yeah, I want to get him in against Southampton, who are not great. And I do want to get rid of Danny Ings because that was just a, a fail of a transfer, unfortunately. So I do have the funds to go from Ings to Haaland. So that is probably what we're going to do. So onto the bench, we've got David Raya against Newcastle at home. I don't think Brentford are going to keep a clean sheet here, which is why I've got him and Henry on the bench, not Solly March. I think the form that Newcastle are on right now, I do think they're going to score. So I, I'm going to bench them. Then we've got McAllister against Tottenham and Estupinian against Tottenham. Now, the Brighton lads, I do have the triple up. I believe they do have a couple more double game weeks to come as well. So I am happy to keep them. I don't want to take them out. But I am un uncertain who to actually start this game week. Do I go with March? Do I go with McAllister? Do I go with Stubinian? I don't know. There is also a potential I might take out maybe Henry, Rico Henry, or a Man City defender. So if I were to bring in a Man City defender, I am unsure who it would be. It would probably be maybe... I mean, it's either Ake, Stones, or Diaz. Now, Ake is the budget option of that, but he is the main left back, isn't he, for Man City? You know, he's been on excellent form this season. You know, and Man City do have a double game week coming up soon as well, I think. So, I do want more Man City players in. I don't just want Erling Haaland for that upcoming double. It would probably be for a hit, but yeah, you know, I mean, the options I have currently: Do I think Botman keeps a clean sheet against Brentford? No. So then he's probably going to get a two-pointer. Do I think Man City keep a clean sheet against Southampton? Yes. And then, of course, you know, over time, do I think Ake outscores Botman? Probably. So, I mean, I think the option is there. I do like it. Whether I'm going to pull the trigger, I am uncertain yet. But nonetheless, that is how the team is looking. I think it looks very, very good. You know, a few uncertain options in there. You know, captaincy is still to be decided. Am I going to bring in Erling Haaland? I need to make sure that he's going to be fit and ready for the match. And do I take out Rico Henry for a Man City defender? A lot of options, but nonetheless, I think the team does look pretty decent. We're in a good position now. We're on 65,000 in the world. So, yeah, very happy with that. How did you guys do? Did you get higher than me? 134 overall. Pretty amazing week. Bench boosted. Excellent. So, yeah, very, very happy. But nonetheless, thank you all so much for watching. If you could, please drop a like and subscribe. That would be truly appreciated. But nonetheless, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all next time. Cheers, guys.